These are my girls, eagerly awaiting their new hive. It's a little chilly outside, so we're waiting for the day to warm up. It's uh, 35, a little bit of wind, not the very best day, but it gets worse from here. Uh, actually, it gets better warmer, but it's going to be rainy, so today's the day. They're going in, and I'm just uh, becoming familiarized with my gear. I don't really need it today, I don't think, but I'll wear it just because. Alright, this is the uh, new homes. I've got my entrance reducers in place. And these are medium boxes. I have uh, feeders inside that I'm going to fill now. And my plan is using the so-called no-shake method. It's a little chilly out today, so I want to get them in there as quick as can be with as little stress as possible. I'm a little bit concerned about spraying them with uh, sugar syrup because it's chilly. Not going to be good for it, so I'll minimize that as much as possible. And let me uh, take you to the inside of the uh, hives to see how that's going to look. All right, this is the inside of the hive. And on the right, the feeder, which I'm going to fill up now. Down below, we've got the frames, plastic. They've been uh, sprayed with sugar water yesterday, so they're sugary and they're waxy. They've got um, beeswax on them. These frames are just filling in the space. I don't know. What I plan to do is take the uh, package after I get the queen out, put the queen in her spot, <clears throat> and instead of shaking and rattling bees, I'm just going to turn the package upside down so the hole is facing the queen. Set them in here, close them up, and I'll come back after a few hours and uh, take the box out and hopefully all of the bees will have left. <laughs> That's the hope. Let's see how that goes. Okay, the uh, feeder has got uh, three liters of sugar water in it and we're on the tripod now so you get a nice stable image and with any luck you'll be able to actually see what's going on when I actually do the process. Okay, so uh, over there in the Berkey box is the package and uh, like I say it's a little bit cool so I need to uh, take the sugar out try to keep the bees in um, not and then get the, the queen out of there so open the box take out the can of syrup Keep as many bees in there as I can because these are not great conditions to be out playing around. And then uh, find the queen and get the package into the hive. Simple so as that, huh? The, uh... Sugar can coming up doesn't feel like it's got a whole lot in it. Okay, not too many escapees so far. One fatality. go in there and get the queen. And one of the things is, is uh, I hear this J-tube hangs a little differently than some, so I've got to figure out how to hang it. And you get hold of the queen cage without getting too much upset going on here, or dropping her. about released.
Ah, uh, shoot. <sighs> Ah, yes, I dropped the queen cage. All right. Well, that didn't work very well. See if I can find it. Sweet sakes. I did get stung. At least once. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. So, there's my queen cage. Now let's see. So we want to see what's going on with the queen. Let's see if we can keep the rest of those bees in there. A little bit. All right, the queen is alive. And there's a question of how the bees are going to look at the queen, whether they're feeding her or trying to bite her. Frankly, I don't know the difference. Uh, let's see now. So this, this is the candy end. And then I've got to hang it between the frames. After I take off perhaps I can get them to leave. It's true, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so as I understand it, this cap comes off and there is candy There's not a lot of candy in there, but okay And this gets... I'm not exactly sure how it stays Basically, we're looking to get her 
between those frames so that she stays like that. I'm not entirely satisfied that that'll just stay. I suppose. Um, some people say uh, an elastic band is a way to go. I just would hate to see her slip and fall, but it really looks like it's kind of sticky and will stay. I guess I've already dropped her once. Everything's sort of sticky. Not quite sure how the, uh, the bees that get themselves glued on there. So it looks like I got one sting there. Perhaps another one there, I don't know. Uh, really not a big deal. All right, she looks to be uh, reasonably happy there. Let's get the uh, rest of the friends in. Donald's gonna jump off of there on me. There we go. There he goes. Don't want to drop it entirely. Okay. food. Well, that was not the classiest, most expert level install. You can see they're enjoying some sun over here. Now I'm going to I can get the Hi. package out of there without pissing everybody off too much.
Well, they're certainly into the sugar water. That thing is dry. There's still a ton of them in here. shitting all over me, that's for sure. Oh yeah, this is a mess. Okay, so at this point, I need to uh, do something. Let's fill up the, uh, the sugar water. I'm thinking. I think that's getting near full. full. Oh my goodness! You made yourself a mess. I've made a total mess out of that. I should have 
for me. All right, so totally screwed that up. You see down there? That looks like it. Okay, a little recap of my day of uh, bee installation. The first hive, the one on the south, is the first one that I did. And it was uh, interesting. The day was uh, fairly cool, about 40 degrees. And the wind was kicking around a bit now and then. Not constant, but certainly uh, occasionally strong, you know, 10 to 15 or so. So that was not great conditions, and I decided that I would install them as easily as possible and not uh, spray them excessively with the sugar water to make sure I wasn't chilling them excessively. I also used the uh, no-shake method, so I built up the box such that I could put the package entirely in after I had gotten the queen out. So I took out sugar water and pulled out the queen cage. Um, the first one was going well. Not too many bees were escaping. Um, the ones that tried to escape got shot with some sugar water. Uh, had a good hold on the queen cage. Was trying to get her out without too much company. And I dropped it. <laughs> so I had to go fishing for the queen. Uh, I got stung at least twice. Not a big deal though, um, really. Not uh, not painful and really no irritation afterwards. So very a pleasant ev uh, event. Actually, uh, I'd rather be stung by a bee than bitten by a black fly. I hate black flies. So um, dropped the queen, went in, retrieved her, got stung. Uh, I think the first time I tried to grab her, I <laughs> couldn't really you know feel. Uh, my way around in there so well, so I uh, had to take my hand out, which I think it had already been stung at that point, and kind of eyeball in there to try try and see the uh, where the queen cage was, so that when I'm grabbing things, I would grab the right thing anyway. And uh, in any case, uh, the the second dig for the queen uh, worked out well, I got her out. Uh, so a uh, slight bit of chaos. At that point, I was happy to have my uh, my hood on. Uh, yeah, getting uh, getting a hand stung is fine. Getting a, a face stung probably would be different. And I may have released some. Oh my God! <clears throat> you know the heart rate goes up when you're getting stung, but. Uh, otherwise, reasonably calm. So, uh, got the uh, queen out. Um, decided that, uh, let's see, I opened the cap to uh, expose the candy so that she could be assisted on her way out. Uh, the that uh, queen cage doesn't really have a, a hanging mechanism, so I uh, and I had previously sprayed the uh, plastic frames that I was uh, the foundation that I was inserting her into, so they were pretty sticky. So uh, her queen cage had some uh, some you know, beginnings of comb built on it. So it was kind of sticky too, so I basically uh, squeezed it between uh, a couple of frames and it looked like it was going to stay there reasonably well. hope it does. Uh, so it essentially had no extra support. We'll see if that was a mistake or not. 
Uh, so turned the um, package upside down, didn't shake them out, just um, put it in there. Probably banged a little bit on the way in. <clears throat> you know, things happen. <laughs> okay, lost my grip. Uh, so put it in. It was sitting on a couple of two by fours, just to make sure there was enough space to allow everybody to wander in and out freely. Uh, and closed it up. And uh, that was it. That went reasonably well, I think. See, now I'm already having to think about the second one. So I uh, had that one done. Left that alone for a little bit. The second one. Uh, the second one, the queen cage came out first try. <laughs> uh, there was no additional stinging for that one. Yeah, no incidents with that. It went in just fine. Um, I had put uh, sugar water in both of them. So they were all set. So my plan was to wait till uh, later. So that was um, probably around one o'clock. So I waited till about four. It was a little bit windy. Waited a little bit longer, four, four thirty. Uh, it's kind of windy, a little cold, cool. And then uh, uh, I went back to um, Hive 1, the South Hive, the first one, and decided to go in there and take the, uh, the package out so that uh, that would be out of the way. And I was planning on taking down the extra box that was just uh, spacing things for uh, allowing that package to be in there. So, uh, that did not go particularly well. Um, most of the bees had not left the, well, I shouldn't say most of them, a good portion of them were still in the uh, package. Uh, so, let's see, it was a little chilly to be spraying, so I I decided to try uh, smoking them out. Forget how it all goes, but uh, it was basically a mess. Um, got the smoker going, did a little smoking, um, opened up the box, and took up, uh, tried to kind of smoke them down out of the uh, the package to get them down into uh, the, the rest of the uh, hive. Most of the bees that were in there seemed to be collected around the um, feeder. They were very hungry. That particular package had an empty uh, sugar can uh, when it arrived, or at least when I opened it uh, or let them loose this afternoon. So clearly they were hungry. I topped off the feeder and picked up the package, trying to smoke them out. Uh, there was a lot of flying all over the place. Uh, I'm sure many, many were caught flying around. Uh, pretty chilly, I don't know how many I will have killed in the process, but um, there were quite a few. Oh, before I tried smoking them, I, yeah, see this is why it's good to do the recall now. Before I tried smoking them, I took the package out and put it near the front door like a lot of folks do. Of course, there were still quite a few in them in it. Uh, and it was fairly cool. It wasn't horrible. There were some out flying around and doing their thing. Uh, probably around, you know, around 40. Uh, but 
it seemed that they were uh, basically just uh, clustering inside the uh, the package cage and not so much interested in going anywhere um, and then yeah that's when I uh, decided to see if I could get them to move along smoked them uh, trying to smoke them towards the entrance uh, I'd say there was a limited success and there was still mm, a good handful uh, that were not really interested in coming out of the uh, package cage uh, so I opened up the top to see about dumping them in and many uh, many bees were not happy with the top being open um, trying to think I left the top board on and kind of put the whole of the package which was upside down over the hole for the uh, inside top and uh, kind of smoked them down out of there that kind of worked reasonably well um, as far as I could tell anyway um, clearly uh, I don't know uh, the smoking I don't know if I can excess, ex excessively smoke them uh, they clearly were like not happy about that a lot of them scrambled down into the hive um, so most of them were gone there were mm, some dead and dying uh, a little bit of a mess I suppose so there were a few bodies left in the hive not not a lot uh, yeah I don't know maybe 50 or so wild guess uh, so that was that put the uh, outside cover on all right so that was the first one bit of a mess uh, I threw in a pollen patty topped up their sugar um, I don't now I did not get in there to see how how the queen was sitting in that one uh, hopefully she has uh, enough company to keep her warm we're expecting temps in the 20s tonight so um, that's the south first hive uh, after that I was not going to take the uh, package out of the f second hive the north hive so I just wanted to have a quick peek smoked a little bit just to let them know I was coming that was very uh, a quiet hive that one had settled in much more of course I wasn't disturbing it so much um, so I just uh, opened that one up there was no uh, activity they were pretty well settled in the uh, I went uh, to fill up the feeder on that one they were not uh, all over that feeder uh, I assume well maybe they had had some previously uh, but I did look to see where the Queen was and who was there uh, unfortunately the bulk of the bees were still up on up in the uh, package they had not uh, moved down they were pretty well clustered up there so I lifted the package up enough to see where the Queen was and see if she had some company she did have some bees down there with her uh, a little cluster there I don't think I could see that the cage was still where I put it but I'm guessing that it was and she had some company with her 
uh, clearly the, the bulk of the bees were still up in the package and either hadn't moved or went out for uh, some sugar and came back and clustered up there. Uh, not the best situation, I'm sure. So, uh, I threw a pollen patty in there, topped up their sugar. Uh, we are going to have a couple of crappy days, rain, snow. Uh, tonight's the worst cold. It's going to be down to, I think they're calling for 27. And then we're back up into the 40s. 50s, but rain, snow and rain for uh, Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday we'll get our first sunshine. Um, if it's warm enough and I can get out there if I have time, I guess I'd check on them then or probably more likely on Thursday. Uh, once again, the, the weather is uh, going to break for uh, sunshine and um, Sunshine and warmer temperatures. So, as I run out of um, RAM on the card here, uh, I don't know what the chances are of survivors. Hmm. Um, perhaps they are more resilient than I might think, um, but uh, we'll wait and see. I may have to. Uh, I may have to scramble to salvage, perhaps, one good colony out of the the batch. Hopefully, um, hopefully, at least one queen will survive. Maybe both. I don't know. A little bit questionable today. We'll see how resilient they are, and. Um, yeah, I think uh, cold weather, cold, 40 is a little chilly for install, especially with the wind, but uh, better days are not coming, so take what we can.